Brad Holmes was full of surprises when it comes to the NFL draft. We saw it a couple years ago when he traded up, took Jameson Williams in the first round last year, taking Jameer Gibbs and Jack Campbell. What's he going to do this year? I have a feeling he might want to take a wide receiver for a second round or do something out of the ordinary. Today, I'm going to go through my top five receiver prospects the Lions need to go after. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know who you want in this year's draft wide receiver wise. Let me know what you thought of the video. We're going to start with prospect number one, and that is Brian Thomas Jr. out of LSU. Now, this guy was on a team with Jaden Daniels and Malik Neighbors, and look at those stats. Look at those stats. 17 touchdowns. That's unheard of, all right? I'm pretty sure that was the most in the entire country this past season. And quick disclaimer, by the way, if you're a fan of a different team besides the Detroit Lions, feel free to keep watching this video. This is a Detroit Lions page, so I'm going to make references to the Lions. But feel free to keep watching because these are guys that, you know, more than, you know, we're not going to be able to get all five of them. So more than likely, these guys are going to be, well, for sure, these guys are going to be in another team. So keep watching, follow along. Let me know who your favorite team is, who you want, and why you want them. But looking at Brian Thomas Jr., could he fall to pick 29 for the Detroit Lions? I'd say there's a 50-50 chance. Now, from what I've seen, he's been mocked early 20s. I've even seen him in the later teens before. And depending on how it goes with guys like Romo Dunze and all those guys, he could fall to pick 29 more than likely. You would have to trade up a couple spots. Are we going to trade up for a receiver first round? Probably not. But if this guy were to fall to 29... I would almost be okay with taking him over Kool-Aid McKinstry. I feel like Kool-Aid for sure I'd rather have. But Darius Robinson, you know, another guy I really want. Chop Robinson I really want. This guy would be another guy who I would be completely fine with taking at pick 29 if he were able to fall to us because I would love to have this guy. Great size and just a jump ball guy. Prospect number two, we have Keon Coleman out of Florida State. And as a Michigan State fan, I've been able to watch this guy quite a bit. I was rooting for him this year at FSU. You can see very good stats. And he was on a pretty stacked roster over at FSU. And, you know, I got to watch him all year, and he was a fun guy to watch. I mean, this dude is just an athletic freak. Jump ball guy, great size. His athleticism is out of this world, and I think that's going to be what is going to make him into one of the better receivers. I can see him being a top five receiver in the NFL, just like Brian Thomas Jr. You can see right there the athleticism this dude has. He's a big play kind of guy, deep ball guy, uh, possession guy. Uh, easily, you know, can replace the Josh Reynolds and be our wide receiver three for, you know, this coming season. JMO is going to be able to explode and still get his, you know, this will actually probably help JMO even more because they're not going to be able to double team him and have safety help on him. This is just going to make guys like James Williams and Amon Ross St. Brown, Sam Laporta, it's going to make them go even crazier. And having a jump ball guy that you can throw, because we struggled a couple games in the red zone last year where we just weren't able to finish drives. It happened a couple times uh, in games that we lost as well. And we need to be able to finish drives. We need, we need to be able to get in the end zone, you know, not kick field goals inside the 10-yard line. And having a guy like this is a huge way to increase your red zone percentage, get touchdowns every drive, and uh, a guy that you can just throw the ball up and he's going to go get it. Keon Coleman, pick 29, I would absolutely love. Or if you trade up in the second round, you could maybe get him as well. Prospect number three. We have Devontae Walker out of UNC. This is a guy who... Brad Holmes actually met with him, I believe, at the combine, talked with him. So if we were going to get one guy, I feel like this guy would probably be the most realistic guy that we would get. This is a guy that's been, you know, mocked in the you know early to mid second round. And more than likely, you would either take at 29. I probably wouldn't. I'd probably trade up, uh, maybe trade, you know, a future second round pick, third round pick, something like that, and use it to trade up earlier in the second round. And then maybe keep your other second round pick and take... You know, whether it's an edge rusher or corner there, you know, Mikey Sainer still, and maybe Darius Robinson pick 29. This guy would be a perfect guy to have alongside JMO and Amonra. He is a jump ball guy. He's got great size. I believe he's 6'3". And um, obviously he didn't have the best stats, but I, he might have missed a few games. I, I didn't really look. But he is definitely a guy that we would be able to use in this offense because he's a jump ball guy, great athlete. And he's also got pretty good speed and pretty good route running. And he's still developing as well. So he's definitely a guy, a possessional guy that you're going to be able to trust to make big catches and first downs. Uh, not the speediest guy. You know, Keon, Keon Coleman really isn't the speediest guy either. But they can get moving. You can see he's got some wheels on him once he gets going full speed. And definitely a guy that I would be okay with getting. And he would be a dog and a perfect compliment for our wide receivers. And a perfect compliment three. Or wide receiver three, I mean. Wide receiver prospect number four, we have Xavier Leggett out of South Carolina. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. It's either Leggett or Leggett. I think it's Leggett. 
Um, Xavier Leggett is a guy who I just recently found. And ever since the first day that I, that we, like me and my dad just randomly came across this guy on YouTube and we started watching him, we're like, oh my God, this guy looks good. We, ever since we found him, he's been more and more just increasing up the draft boards, going from a third round pick to a second round pick. Um, there's been Lions Sports Networks talking about him, like, oh, the Lions need to get, and yes, this is the guy who I think the Lions need to get. He is so fast. He's like a, from what I've seen, you know, his, his comparisons are like a faster AJ Brown, great size, six foot three. He can make big time catches, contested catches, jump ball catches, and then his speed. He has insane speed. He's very fast for his size, and that is going to make him an insane receiver in the NFL. You pair this guy up with Jamison Williams. How are you going to stop that along with the Monroe Sam, first down? Sam Laporta, the GOAT. Sam Lagoda. Like, you, you cannot stop that offense. Then you have the run game to worry about. The O-line, Jared Goff, who's the most accurate quarterback in the NFL when given time. This offense will be easily the best in the entire league if you get a guy like this who is a deep threat, possessional guy, jump ball guy, and a great hands guy. Then you'll have James Williams for the deep ball. Uh, you know, the pitches, just everything, you know, basically use him any way you can. This would be a perfect pick for us. Prospect number five, the final one is Brendan Rice. And I have had this guy mocked, I think in my first mock draft video. And um, uh, my next mock draft coming out Monday, by the way, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I got another one coming out, mock draft 4.0. And I'm going to have one of these receivers in that mock draft. I can promise you that. Um, Brendan Rice was in my first one. And I would love to get this guy. He's more than likely going to be a mid to later, or I think a mid to, yeah, probably a mid third round pick is what I've seen on average. And that's perfect because we pick at 73. And if we decided, you know, we're going to go Darius Robinson, pick 29. Uh, second round pick, we're going to go with Mikey Sainer still, Kalen King, uh, maybe Kamari Lasseter falls there. And then third round, you go and get Brendan Rice, and then you get the O-line and kicker later in the draft. This That would be an A-plus draft. Brendan Rice, to me, another jump ball guy, deep threat guy. This dude had, if you saw the stats, he had like 46 catches on the season, but he had 12 touchdowns. It's like, that's like James Williams' stats right there. James Williams had like 30 catches for like six touchdowns in his career. It's like almost every time this guy touches the ball, it's a touchdown. Amazing deep ball guy, pretty good route runner, and just a good hands and jump ball guy. And that's what I really like. That's why I think we need him. Obviously, like I said, you're still going to use James Williams on the sweeps. You're going to use him on screen passes. You're going to use him on fly routes. You're going to use him on slants across the middle, and he just takes off and is gone. This guy can be a guy that also goes streaks, a guy that you can use to get big first downs or you know, a jump ball guy in the end zone or a guy that you can just throw the ball up to uh, downfield you know, on a crossing route and just you know, bomb it downfield, and he'll find it, and he'll get it, and he'll take it to the house. And you can do that with James Williams, too. It's just perfect. He would be a perfect combination, uh, perfect guy to go alongside James Williams and the rest of our receiving in our offense, and he would be a great pickup. That's going to do it for me. I want you guys to go down in the comments. Let me know. Do you want Brad Holmes to take a wide receiver first round? I'm not sure. Depends on who's there, but for sure, I think I would trust Brad at the end of the day. Let me know what you guys think, who you want, when you want them, why you want them. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Have a good one. Peace.